in part three of this video series, we want to talk about the how of video marketing. Okay, in part one, we talked about, in part one right here, we talked about, you know, this is why you might want to do it. And in part two, we talked about the what aspect, what types of videos could you create. Now what we want to talk about is we want to talk about, okay, Scott, how do I do this? How do I make these types of videos? Well, I got to tell you, the first camera that I was really using for video marketing was the Kodak ZI8. Now, I have to tell you, they don't make this model anymore. They, uh, the newest model is the Kodak Playtouch. Now, what makes these cameras unique is that they're, they've got a mic in jack. So, so they shoot HD video and they allow you to plug in a microphone for really good audio. And a lot of people say, oh, come on, man, you can't do that. Yeah, you can get some really good audio and some really good video just by using a $120 camera. Now, I also do a lot of video with the iPhone and uh, you would be amazed at the quality of the iPhone. And, and I use the iPhone 4S, the latest one, and it has a really good lens, uh, really bright, and it, it, it's surprisingly so. Here's an example image, and what you'll see on, um, on the right is you're going to see that's the Kodak ZI8 image, and the one on the left is the iPhone. Now, I shot those at the exact same time. I was, had, had them both set up side by side, so you can compare the differences between the lenses. And um, I think they both look more than adequate. They're more than good enough for web video. And here's an example. Now, here's an example of using an iPhone to create a good enough web video. So there you have it. A very simple video, but the key to make the, the video work, remember, video is only half the battle. Audio is the other half, and having a good microphone is really what you need to make your video complete. Now, I recommend all sorts of different mics, but I gotta tell you, just having a microphone, even if it's a $25 lavalier mic, and I recommend the Audio-Technica ATR, oh, I think it's the 3350 or something like that, and it's just a very, it's a $25 lav mic that'll make your audios immediately sound better. And from there, depending upon your budget, you can go all the way up to, you know, wireless mics like what I'm using now. But you need to have a microphone connected to your camera to get that good audio. Now, let me share some additional tips with you, okay, because you're going to be shooting these videos yourself. Number one, Make sure you have good lighting. And, and what I, when I say good lighting is I like to make sure I've got lighting on my face. Um, make sure you don't have a really bright light or a window behind you because that'll throw the lighting off and then your face gets really dark. So you want to make sure you've got good lighting. Then I always recommend a tripod. Make sure you have a tripod. Keep those cameras rock solid. Keep them really steady and you'll get, you'll get really good video that way. And have a plan. Know what you're going to say. And I like to have like just a quick introduction, maybe three points and then a quick exit or a quick summary and get out. You want to keep your videos to two to three minutes. If they're educational in nature, they might go a tad longer, but try to keep them shorter. If they're real long, break it up, just like I'm doing with this video series. Have lots of little videos rather than one big long video. And then finally, have fun. You want people to see your eyes, your smile, and to feel your enthusiasm and passion about what you do. So keep your videos fun, be yourself, be natural, and your uh, viewers will definitely appreciate it. Hey, if you wanted to see the previous version, you can see the introduction up here. You could see, and, oh, and this introduction, by the way, this was very much on the why we should be doing video marketing. You could take a look at the um, what to shoot pieces of the video marketing here. And then finally, I'm gonna go into the last piece about some YouTube secrets. So that video is next. Take care, bye-bye.